Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this right triangle ABC as you can see in this figure such that this our side length BC is square root of 3 and this height CD is square root of 2 and now we are going to calculate these missing sides AB and AC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. In this video lesson, I will share with you two different methods. And here's our very first method, shortcut method. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's go ahead and label these sides. Let's focus on this vertex A, the opposite side of this vertex A. I am going to call lowercase a. And likewise opposite to this vertex B I am going to call this side lowercase b and opposite to this vertex C I am going to call this side lowercase c and finally this perpendicular CD I am going to call this height H. So in this very first step let's go ahead and calculate the value of this side length b and we will be using this formula 1 over a square plus 1 over b square equals to 1 over h square where our a value is square root of 3 our h value is square root of 2 and now we are going to calculate the value of b so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so 1 over a in our case is square root of 3 and then square plus 1 over b square equal to 1 over h in our case is square root of 2 and then square and here we can see this square and square root they undo each other so we got 1 over 3 plus 1 over b square equals to likewise the square and square root undo each other so we got 1 over 2 let's go ahead and move this one third on the right hand side and now let's focus on this part on the right hand side i have just copied it down let's go ahead and simplify these fractions by crisscross method let's go ahead and cross multiply 1 times 3 is going to be 3 minus 1 times 2 is 2 divided by let's multiply out these denominators 2 times 3 is 6 so thus this 1 over b square value this right hand side has been simplified to 1 over 6 I can write it this equal to 1 over 6 now let's go ahead and flip these both sides over when we flip them over this is going to become b square over 1 equal to 6 over 1 and this is same as b square equal to 6 let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides this square square root is gone so b turns out to be positive or negative square root of 6 now we know that b represents the side length so it must be positive so therefore we are going to pick this b value as positive square root of 6 in this next step let's go ahead and calculate this side length c this one and since we are dealing with this right triangle so therefore we're going to be using pythagorean theorem and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in our case a is square root of 3 and then square plus b in our case is square root of 6 and then square and we are going to put down c square here square and square root is gone so 3 plus here square and square root is gone so we ended up with 6 equal to c square let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides this square and square root is gone so c turns out to be a positive or negative 3 and now we know that c represents the side length so it must be positive so therefore c turns out to be positive 3 value so thus our missing sides turn out to be square root of 6 units and 3 units 
And now let me share with you the second method. In this method, I will show you how we came up with this formula. 1 over a square plus 1 over b square equal to 1 over h square. And here's our very first step. Let's consider this triangle ABC with the height A and with the base B. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half time base times a height. In our case, our base is B and our height is A. So area is going to be simply A times B divided by Two. Now let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number one. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this triangle ABC once again. And this time our height is H and our base is C. And here's the area of a triangle formula once again. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. Our base is C and our height is H. So our area is going to be c times h divided by 2. So let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number 2. And now in this next step, let's go ahead and compare these equations 1 and 2. The left hand sides are same. So we can equate the right hand sides as well. So I can write a times b divided by 2 equal to c h divided by Two. So now let's go ahead and remove these fractions by multiplying by 2 on both sides. This and this is gone. This and this is gone. And now let's go ahead and divide both sides by C to isolate H. So C and C is gone. So H turns out to be A times B divided by C. Now let's go ahead and take the square on both sides, square of this one and a square of this one and now h square could be written as h square divided by 1 and now let's go ahead and flip over both of these fractions so i can write 1 over h square turns out to be let's flip this one over as well c square divided by a square b square now let's recall this Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square so wherever I see c square I am going to replace it by a square plus b square so our this equation is going to become 1 over h square equal to a square plus b square divided by a square times b square and the right hand side of this equation could be written as a square divided by a square b square plus b square divided by a square times b square now we can see this a square a square is gone b square and b square is gone so therefore we are ended up with 1 over h square equal to 1 over a square plus 1 over b square and that's our proof so thus our missing sides turned out to be a square root of 6 and 3 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye